eBay has another update starting in June that's going to take complete control over part of your business. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at an update eBay just announced that starts in June, the beginning of June, that's going to control a huge chunk of anybody's business that has to do promoted listings. This is going to take over every aspect. eBay will be able to control your pricing, your budget, everything on your promotions that you run. Many, many new aspects of control have been added, including taxing the entire sale, just like they're doing on every other option on eBay right now. You won't be able to say a thing if eBay changes your promotions at all going forward from June, even if it costs you more money. So this is the announcement here. It just came in late yesterday. It's about the marketing campaign. Now, marketing services specifically. This is talking about the programs that you use to do promoted listings. Now, there's a bunch of things that they've added in here that pretty much takes away all control whatsoever you had in, in promoted listings at all. So basically, as long as you start a promotion, eBay can do everything else with it. There is nothing you can say about what they do with it either because you're giving over complete control. You have no control over it. And what's the most important aspect of this is the way eBay has set up the item specifics and changed the search criteria. They've basically made it necessity to use promoted listings. And now they're taking full control over your necessity to use this just to get seen because of them hiding your listings. Now, let's read through here because there's some terminology you need to understand. When you use the marketing services, you authorize eBay and its partners to use automated tools to assemble format advertise ads based on the content defined below we may limit the number of ads that you can create at a given time and may also limit the availability of any or all of the marketing services so they could just say you can't advertise or promote your listings anytime whatsoever no matter what whether you like it or not and they don't even have to tell you nor do they even have to have a reason for example to listings from certain categories that are containing certain attributes in our sole discretion, they can stop you from using the services. They can do it because a brand is coming in and wants that space and doesn't want you to be able to advertise. That's exactly what that allows going forward. This isn't me being hyperbolic. This isn't me saying it's the end of the world. This is the facts and what this states and what this means to you if you use promoted listings. Now here's an even worse case scenario. In certain cases, Third parties, e.g. brands, a brand, may also participate in eBay's advertising programs, which promotes, listen to this one, the same eBay listings as your ad. So if you're doing an ad, a business, a, a major brand, let's say you got a Nike pair of shoes up. Nike can come in and promote their items and yours in the exact same promotions and get this, they can get the data from what your promotional sales was because they are advertising your listing. Why would they allow someone else to promote your listing and get the data? That's just crazy that they're allowing somebody else to see your sales data based on a percentage of sales. They can see data that they should not be allowed to have. I think that's a total conflict of interest just to allow somebody to promote your listings Again, it's specifically stating brands. Brands. This is not some stranger. This is somebody who will be selling the exact same item as you. They can use the data to go after you and figure a way to better promote their items by seeing your data. This should offend and bother everybody out there. This is taking complete, complete control away from you being able to use this as how you want. And as it goes into details, the third parties may receive advertising performance information related to the promotion of your listings. By using the marketing service, you authorize eBay to place your ads in any size, place, or location on any content or property uh, provided by eBay or a third party partner. We may make available certain features or services through which we may help you optimize your participation in marketing services. For example, by creating, they're going to create, possibly create a campaign for you without your permission by what this says or modifying campaigns. 
setting or modifying ad rates and or budgets. So they may set the ad rate for you. That's the ad rate they want you to use. It won't be up to you. Or if you did set one, they can change or alter the budgets. They can also add or remove keywords, your keywords that you picked or other targeting parameters. If you elect to use those features or services by informing us and writing or opting in via the marketing services. So if you use the services, you opt in. So the minute you get a promotion set up, you're opting into this. That's what this is stating right here. You also agree that they may manage your campaign and take such actions on your behalf without your prior consent. So they don't need your consent to do anything, change your prices, change your budget, change your keywords, even start a campaign for you. That's literally what this says. It's not, again, me being hyperbolic, but me literally reading word for word what this says. That's complete control over your business, your destiny, your company, your everything. Again, this says they can start a campaign for you, which is crazy. This is basically telling us that they could force you to do something you don't even want to do. I'll have a link to this so you can read it yourself word for word at the very top of the description box of this video. Now, you should also read the credentials aspect. If anything at all happens to the information or anything in there is wrong, it's on you no matter what. Unless for some reason eBay determines that maybe they were hacked and it possibly could be on there. And everything else is your fault no matter what. Now, they're changing and modifying this. So even if they change or modify something, again, it's still your fault. If a third party comes in and does anything, it's still your fault. You are completely responsible, even though you have no control over what's going on on the thing. So again, read this in here. It is your responsibility to monitor your account and ensure that the campaigns are consistent with your business objectives. Well, how does eBay know what your business objectives are? They're going to be able to change everything about your promoted listings. Now the contents. You expressly agree that your listings will be promoted via ads. Ads may include text, graphics, a title. It goes on to some more descriptions there. And any other feature or thing that eBay wants to throw in there. You will designate or provide eBay with text, logos, images, URLs, or other content for the ads, which content may be delivered from listings on the applicable eBay properties. You will ensure that the contents of the ads and any content or website to which such an ad links will be complete, accurate, and up-to-date. Now, eBay will be handling some of this. So how can we assure that what eBay is doing is the right thing? How can we assure that they linked over everything that they should? The, the indemnities here, basically, the only reason eBay would claim anything is if it's a hack. Everything else is fine, fair game to eBay by what this states. You have no authority to do anything with your content what's it's on eBay. Now, as well, with anything you post, if it violates a third party or anything else like that and you don't know it, that's your fault. Even if eBay doesn't even tell you the third parties that have access to our data, it's, it's none of eBay's fault. It's always going to be yours, even again, if you don't know it. So if you're violating a trademark policy or eBay puts it somewhere where that site says, hey, no, I don't want that word on our site, that's your fault. Again, you can read into here all you want. Now, when providing us with content, us being eBay, you grant us non-exclusive, worldwide, perpetual, irrevocable, royalty-free, sub-licensable through multiple tiers, including without limitations through eBay's affiliates, subsidiaries, and partners, transferable right and license to use, reformat, reproduction, uh, and display your content and display your ad and content, including your logo. So if you've got a logo for your business, they can do whatever they want with it. They can post it anywhere they want. You don't own your technical logo. Now, I know people are going to come back and say, well, eBay has a Vero program. You can just go ahead. If somebody accidentally uses it or something else, you can claim it. That's not how that Vero program works. For the Vero program to take down your listings, you have to have a bunch of stuff that's going to cost you thousands of dollars to get. You're going to have to have a copyright filed through the, through the uh, copyright office. You're going to have to be able to produce legal documents from the U.S. government that state you own the rights to your own business name. And it can't be a doing business, a DBA uh, receipt or anything else like that to prove that you own it. It has to be copyrighted specifically through the U.S. government. I've already dealt with people using images and things that were personally mine, one of a kinds, and eBay did nothing about it other than tell me I can go through the Vero program. It does not work that way.
Now, eBay also reserves the right to decline to publish, delay the publication of, or remove any ad or content in its sole discretion for any or no reason and without any liability to you or any other group. So they're not going to hold you accountable if they remove your listings at that point for whatever reason they want. They don't have to tell you. They don't have to have a reason. A corporation could come in and say, hey, I don't want them competing with me. eBay's just going to go ahead and remove your ad. They, they can do it anytime they want. It doesn't matter. Who is eBay going to go after? Who is eBay going to look out for? Big business giving them tens of millions of dollars or you selling a $50 item on eBay. This is the end of any small seller's rights when using any of these services here at all. You have no rights to anything. Big business can come in and look at your data. They can do anything they want at this point with what this is going on right now. We reserve the right to modify the marketing fees, including the methodology we use to calculate the marketing fees from time to time in our discretion. Nowhere in here does it say they have to tell you at all if they change the fees that you are using for any of this. They, again, they can set the fees. They can go ahead and change how much money you put into there. They can change your budget using this as well. Anything about any of the marketing that you use, whether it's promoted listings the old-fashioned way or the pay-per-clicks, they can change it all they want, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it by exactly what this states. Again, look at it yourself. Show it to a lawyer and see what the lawyer says on what this states. This gives away all of our rights to pretty much anything having to do with promoted listings at all. This is exactly what the states from a legal standpoint. We have a legal professional we reach out to. That's again exactly what this states. They have complete authority over everything in your account if you use promoted listings. Now here's another one. Cost per click pricing. If you participate in the marketing service on a cost per click basis, you agree to pay an amount up to and including the ad rate reflected in your account settings for each click on your ad. Now, don't forget, eBay has already said they can change your rates. They can change the keywords you're using, which is exactly tied to this. The pay-per-click is based on the keywords. So they're saying with pay-per-click listings, they can set your rate. So they will be changing the rate set in your account settings. That doesn't mean it's what you put in. It's whatever is in your account settings. They are going to control that, of course, because they've already stated that. So this means that they're going to control it. Whatever it says in there, even if they put it in there, you are responsible for that. Now, cost per sale pricing. So if you're promoting a specific listing. Now, the total amount of the sale is the same value we use to calculate final value fees, which is described in their policy, and includes the item price, any handling charges, shipping costs, taxes included without limitations, sales tax, value-added tax, like if it's going overseas and stuff too, and goods and services tax on any other applicable fee. And they've got complete control over every aspect of your promotions whatsoever. There's nothing in your promotions that they cannot change, alter, or do something with. Now, there's some other aspects on here too. You are fully authorized to publish your ad and content. You offer promoted in your ad and content is valid and redeemable. You have adequate inventory to support any offer promoted in your ad and content. So if you don't have quantity for an ad that you're running, you could get into some trouble by not having that quantity by what this states. You could be in violation of eBay's rules. You darn well better make sure you have syncing on, auto sync for quantity, because this could ding you if you don't. Even if eBay starts your campaign, sets the price in your campaign, promotes it out on third-party sites that don't allow that campaign to go out there, it's your fault. Now, you have all required rights and licenses to grant us the license rights you are granting us under these marketing programs. Again, when you give them the listing, when you put the listing up, even with your logo in it, they own that. They can sell that listing, your title, your images to somebody else. It already states that in here. Again, they own your listing once it's up. There's nothing about it that's yours unless, again, it's in the Vero program. That costs thousands of dollars to get into it if you even can. It's going to cost you a lawyer to set this all up for you for sure. Now, in addition to the extent permitted by law, we are not liable and you agree not to hold eBay responsible for any damages or loss included, but not limited to loss of money, goodwill, reputation, profits, or other intangible losses or any special indirect or consequential damages resulting directly or indirectly from participating in the marketing services, including but not limited to the deletion or modification of your ads or content. So if eBay changes something, it hurts you in any way, shape, or form, whether it's money-wise, 
whether it's reputation wise that's on you you can't do anything to ebay for what they do they also go on further to duration or manner in which your ads appear on the properties or ebay's decision to end or remove your ads so again they can remove them anytime they want for any reason or no reason whatsoever we are responsible for everything but yet we have no control over our own destiny with our own store with our own listings they've made it so you have to do promoted listings and then they've made it so when you do promoted listings, they can do it all and you can't control or act on it. Now, regardless of the previous paragraph, if we are found to be liable, our liability to you or to any third party is limited to the greater of the amount of the marketing fees in dispute, not to exceed the total marketing fees which you paid to us in the 12 months prior to each action given rise to the liability or $100. So if anything happens, you're out $10 million, you're out $10,000, they only have to reimburse you 100 bucks. Even if you paid more in fees, they only have to reimburse you 100 bucks. No matter what happens, no matter what on earth happens, they only are going to have to reimburse you for 100 bucks. If you lose your whole business because eBay promotes your thing on a third-party site and they don't like it, they're going after you. eBay's not liable, even though they did it. You're still going to have to pay the fees. You're going to get 100 bucks back out of it if, if, if eBay deems that yeah, maybe there was something going on. They're constantly taking away our rights as a seller. We, again, at this point, are almost literally employees of eBay. We're at their whim. We have no control if we use promoted listings. I don't use them. I haven't in a couple of years. But for those who do, I would really read over this and see what the implications are for your specific business. Now, one more major one here. Let's say eBay makes a mistake and you catch it. Well, if you don't catch it in a certain length of time, which is only six days... There's nothing you can do about it. So if you're looking at your bills only once a month or every other week, you miss something, eBay screwed you over, they double charged you on something, triple charged you. If you wait longer than six days, they get to keep that money. That's literally what it says. Any disputes about marketing fees must be submitted to us in writing within six days of the date you incurred such charges. Not six days from when you found it, but when they happen. So if today they do something and you wait till the end of the week, six more days pass, Again, you're screwed. They're going to keep any extra money that they charge you, any extra fees they charge you, it's all theirs. That's literally what this goes into detail here. If you're not checking your fees constantly, every two or three days, you're going to get screwed if they make a mistake. If they make a mistake, it's on you to fix it. It's on you to do it within only six days. Now, if you do catch them with a mistake, eBay doesn't have to pay it on that pay cycle. They may not even pay it for 60 days. I know that as a fact because they have owed us money and it's taken two payment cycles for them to get it back to us. You've got six days, but they can take 60 days. So again, you have no control. You've got to do more diligent work to make sure that they're being honest with you. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Pull his string, he walks five feet from romper room.